existence, thou is called great Lord of all beings. This Almighty Being is not only in charge of the entire universe, but also in charge of oneself. So the proverb is, Thou is within self which is the drive of all one's abilities, a physical body without Thou is useless. This is the treasure that we should all realize and fully explore. I, I, I. What it is in Dio when we look around the world, we admire the miracles and wonders of nature. Countless things change and move simultaneously every second, and yet in order and in harmony. So do our bodies. Countless biochemical reactions and physical functions occur concurrently within our bodies. Without learning and thinking that come subjectively, the thousands of activities that happen within us are the extension and action of Tao. And all together, it is one single self. It functions naturally and automatically without the need for our intents to be involved. This is the effect of Tao within us. Tao is not only in control of the universe and nature, but also in charge of every human being in his slash her own actions. In other words, it is the same source that governs us as well as everything else. Tao is invisible and intangible, but it has been working out its magic before day one. Thereafter, languages, cultures, religious scriptures, literature, and civilization were developed. They all originate from Tao functioning within us. People don't realize it is Tao that has been residing and working within us and have used soul to represent the confusing and yet irrefutable being. Because it is eternal and intangible, we also call it true self. This true self is the most abundant, brilliant, and imperishable being. Let us take a look at our tangible body and see if it can be the true self. We know the pictures taken throughout one as life show different faces and expressions. We recognize people by face, but our looks change and are not permanent. The handicapped, with impaired arms or legs, can also lead a complete life. One with a transplanted animal heart is still a human being. Even our brain cells keep decreasing and changing every second from the moment we were born. Therefore, the physical body is only the interim residence of the true self. Though it seems so real, solid and alive, it turns into dirt eventually. We call it false self because of its tentative and transient nature. By recognizing the difference between the true self and the false self, we understand the reason and importance for us to receive Tao. Luckily, we are given the opportunity of receiving Tao and learning the three treasures. The three treasures are straightforward yet profound. The meaning and details of them will be illustrated through the rite of receiving Tao. Here, we only discuss two issues. First, by receiving Tao, the true self gets plunked out. It leads to our conscience. Upon the time when material pursuance surpasses spiritual seeking, giving up the true self only makes us a walking corpse.
in order to fulfill and satisfy the sensational desires of the false self, we may commit wrongdoings and harm others, eventually creating troubles for ourselves. Our inner conscience is identified and enlightened by receiving Tao. Thus, the body gets to work with the spirit in a mutually beneficial and harmonious way, making our lives joyful and meaningful. Second, by receiving Tao, the front door or main gate of our bodies gets opened. It leads us to conscience, mercy and wisdom. When we leave a house, we leave through the front door. If the front door is locked, we may have to leave through the back door, or even by breaking the window or jumping off the balcony. We may fall and get hurt by doing so. Our body is like a house and our soul is the master who lives in the house. One day, when the body is aged and depleted and the soul has to leave, we can imagine its horror if it cannot leave through the correct exit. This is the pain and discomfort human beings experience at the coming of death and after death. As we know, for most people, when they are dying, their body shows stiffness, and signs of helplessness and confusion. After we receive Tao, the door of life and death will be opened. Being able to receive Tao and the three treasures while having the door to heaven opened, we had the opportunity to recognize the true self and the Tao that dwells within us. We are going to treat people and the world with conscience and make our lives more meaningful. We can transcend life and death. Within a hundred years, we will be able to return to where we came from. Therefore, the heavenly Tao is also the way to return back to heaven. To probe further, the enlightenment of Tao is superior to studying thousands of sutras. This is the value of Tao. The enlightenment of Tao opens the main gate, the front door, which is the entrance to heaven. It gives us the guarantee to be exempted from rebirth cycles and to reach eternity. The superiority of this enlightenment lies in that it surpasses Buddhas and saints, it exceeds the scope of sutras and dharmas, and it transcends the universe. Tao is therefore source of all sutras, king of all dharmas, mother of all Buddhas, and creator of the universe. Transcendence of rebirth cycles leads to eternity. Being imperishable, Tao never deteriorates, and we have never lost it at all. Hence Tao is the direct way back to heaven. I be dot what do I get in RECI beginning DAO as mentioned earlier, by receiving Tao, we act upon our conscience, gain more wisdom, and find the door to heaven. In addition to these basics, we also benefit from the following for our lifetime. A being away from sufferings and closer to happiness the troubles and worries we face in our daily lives mostly result from our disregard of the true self. Receiving Tao helps us to recognize the Tao that has been dwelling in us and to restore the beauty of the true self, 
so that our behavior and mind is free from being controlled by the earthly pleasures and being swayed by the losses and gains of the material world. Since our minds are cultivated spiritually, devils would not approach and get close to us. Thus, our fortune can be altered from bad to bright, and we can obtain real joy. Be being away from disaster and calamities Tao has been passed on through generations to a one single master since the beginning of human history. The threat of its passage weaves through ancient civilizations, including China and India. However, in recent centuries, Human beings have been trapped by materialism and a weaker sense of right and wrong. Wars prompted the development of powerful lethal weapons. In reviewing the thousands of years of human history, we realize, in just less than 100 years, there had been two major world wars which caused numerous killings and tragedies. The abuse of science and technology has also destroyed the ecology, causing damage to the ozonosphere and the unbalance of the climate. The corruption of human beings' minds has called the natural disasters to come. The human has created calamity. God, with his mercy, makes Tao available to everybody in order to save good people. After we receive Tao, with the true meaning of Tao in mind, we will be conscientious. We can use the three treasures whenever something dangerous and uncontrollable happens to us. We will be able to get away from bad encounters. This is a confessed fact. See transcending life and death life is a mixture of happiness and bitterness. Throughout the journey of life, we experience birth, growth, aging, illness, and death. Joys are momentary and wealth is here today and gone tomorrow. Rather than seeking the pleasure of material life, the wise make full use of their lifetime searching the true meaning of life and eternity. In old times, doubt could only be received after harsh self-cultivation. Among the hermits looking for the master in order to receive Tao, only very few could obtain it. Whereas in this century, Tao is allowed to be spread and transmitted through the authorized masters to the truth seekers. The master points out the main gate of life and death, assuring the completeness of our true self. With the true self as our guide, which keeps us away from evil and greed, it helps us think, speak, and act in accordance with our conscience and intuition. Death then becomes the return of our soul to the eternal and peaceful home where we came from. Thus, we will have lasting joy. He achieving sacred beings the enlightenment of Tao, which reveals the true self, is like the planting of the seed of righteousness and integrity. Through self-cultivation and self-improvement, the nurturing of wisdom, kindness, and purity, it will blossom and produce the fruit of sacred mind and eternal life. In time of overwhelming utilitarianism, Tao is the lighthouse to the truth. Receiving Tao, and then cultivating ourselves, 
not only improves our own lives, but also gives us the opportunity to better the world. After we receive Tao, we act upon our conscience and care for people around us. We cherish Tao and disregard personal disadvantages. Then we make an effort to spread the message of Tao to the world, in order for everyone to benefit from it. We are devoting ourselves to the work of God, and certainly will achieve spiritual perfection in both this world and the world after life. To probe further, the supremacy of Tao is based on the heavenly decree of God, by which grand masters can perform the passage of Tao. The enlightenment of Tao from Grand Masters directly opens the main gate of our bodies, which revives our divine nature. It reveals that heaven is not beyond oneself. Instead, one as true self merges into the entire universe. This is the supremacy of Tao. 1. With the heavenly decree, the enlightenment of Tao is extremely profound and marvelous. It cannot be completely expressed by any words of languages. It is not recorded on any scriptures or sutras. It cannot be described by preaching, nor can it be acquired by human intelligence, nor derived from knowledge and experience nor achieved from gifted talents, because the above mentioned all have to be created and can be eliminated, which means that they cannot last forever themselves. They all bear partiality and cannot be applied universally. Hence, they cannot surpass life cycles, nor can they reach eternity. 2. The wonder of the effects and omnipotence of Tao is beyond words. It is the wisdom that does not come from learning. It is what we acquire from God and possess intrinsically. It is the same divine heart before the creation of the universe. It is conscience, the holy heart. It is the divine and immortal nature the Spirit of God. 3. Tao is too marvelous to be described. It makes us know without learning and function without practicing. It is a prior wisdom, perception, potency, and ability. It is not constrained by words or languages. It functions without thinking, intents, or even actions. However, it can create the sky, the world, the human, all beings, and all existences. All these, after being created, still cannot carry on without Tao even for one moment. Tao is therefore called Great Lord of all beings. 4. Without Tao, the stars and planets in the sky wouldn't he have been in order.